Hello everybody, I'm Dave Chaos, and today we're going to be checking out the XP7 Tournament Grid Gaming Headset by Turtle Beach. So let's have a look at what it says on the box. So they're saying it's a gaming versatile headset, which is true because it works with uh, any console. So we have got it down for PC, Mac, mobile phones and tablets. You've also got changeable head plates on the side, which we'll have a look at in a little while. So on the other side of the box, we've got voice morphing as one of the features, sonic lens, which lets you pick out certain noises like footsteps, for example. Then you've got dynamic chat boost, true USB surround sound, which is handy. And then we've got adjustable surround sound angles and Further down the box, we've also got a big image of the control unit, which is quite complicated. So what I've decided to do for the video is actually set it up on my Xbox and show you how this thing works, because just showing you in a video is not going to be not going to be good enough. It's not going to convey it right for you. So I'm going to set it up properly in the video so you can have a good look at that. So now we're going to have a look at what's in the box. So here it is out of its sleeve. It's just a plain black box with uh, the logo right here pressed into the cardboard. And if we just flip open the side, We'll see what's inside. So, of course, you've got the headset, uh, audio control unit, and everything else is underneath. So, let's get the headset out and we can have a quick look at that. So, here it is. Lovely looking headset. I've actually been using this for about a week, so I know that, uh, that these are super, super, duper comfy. But we're going to have a close look at these in a moment and uh, I'll show you how this cable management works. I'm gonna can't even grab that. There we go. <laughs> we'll have a look at how this works with all the different cables that are in the box. So here's the cable accessory box. So let's have a look at what's what you get inside here. You just pop that open and there is a whole load of cables for all sorts of cool things. So let's have a quick look. Put this to one side. We have a headset breakaway cable which is going to be extraordinarily handy. Then we've got the mobile adapter cable, which is for mobile phones and whatnot, uh, iPads and things like that. Then we've got the 3.5 millimeter four pole auxiliary cable. So this is, I'll show you later, but this is so you can connect your mobile phone or iPad up while you're playing games as well. So you can listen to music on the fly and stuff like that. And uh, then we've got the Xbox 360 chat cable. And we've got a console interface USB cable, which is for connecting up the uh, audio controller. Then you've got your digital optical cable, which you're definitely gonna need one of them. Then there's the microphone, which looks quite good. So we're gonna put the microphone to the test as well via my PC, and hopefully that will sound pretty good. And then last but not least, we've got the audio control unit extender cable, uh, which basically just sits on your, on your desk. So we'll have a look at that now. So here is the audio control unit in the box. And we'll just pull this out and have a look inside here. You get the control unit and a quick information guide. So on the information guide, it shows you what all the different buttons do. If you have a quick look at it, if you get it out of here, there it is. So it's pretty hefty, quite weighty, but it's designed to basically just sit on your desk and you control everything that you want to do on your Xbox or PC or whatever. So instead of me going through all this sheet here and showing you, I'm actually going to set it up and show you so you get a better idea of how it works. Before we go and set that up and show you how it all works, let's have a quick, close, personal look at these headsets. This is something to behold. They are top quality. So let's have a look. So you might have noticed on the box earlier on, it, it mentioned that these disconnect. So let's show you how that works. It's basically got a little thing just there and they pop off like that. And you can buy different ones. I've, not, I've had a look and there's, um, there's like camouflage ones and stuff like that, but yeah, that's how that works. And they're very simple to just pop off like so. There we go. So that's good. These are, it doesn't say anything about noise cancelling, but they are definitely noise reducing when you've got them on. Um, so that's a plus side. They've got a lot of giving them. You can bend them like this, turn them around like that, which is very good. They've got adjustable adjusters right here. If we just pull that like that, there we go. So there's one adjuster, there's the other. Very good for head adjustment. If we just have a look at the um, the headband here, you see that it's all spongy all the way across. And just about here, if you have if you can see that, that's where it's extra extra spongy just there. So if I can just put it like this. Zoom in a little bit more for you. 
and get a good idea of just how much sponginess is on there. There we go. All the way across and all across the top as well. Now if you have a look at the, the ear pieces as well, if you just turn around those, there we go, I'll just show you this. You see how the, the bounce back on that? Oh yeah, they are super duper comfy. If you get the headset um, set up right in your head with the adjusters and that, they are super comfy. So if you have a just a nosy round, you can see very well made. This is all braided stitching all around the edge here as well. Top quality, very good. Very pleased with these. And on the top it says, there we go, Turtle Beach. It, like pressed into the plastic itself there, so that's quite nice. So yeah, as you can see, there's where the microphone goes in, just there. There's your cable braided as well. And there's the plug on the end for all the different different types of connectors you've got with this thing basically which we'll have a look when I've got it set up so that's the actual headset itself let's go and have a look at what it's like all set up so here it is all set up uh, it's a little bit hiddly piddly at the moment because I've just set it up for the benefit of this video so here's your actual control unit that's plugged straight into the, this unit here, which then connects to the Xbox. So there's a USB and the multi-pin plug there. And out the back you have your optical cable right here, and the USB, which goes from mini to normal USB. So that's just the control unit for that. Then we've got this, which plugs in, obviously, here. Plugs into the headset here. We've got the microphone set up on there as well. And then you've also got this cable here which is your top back cable which plugs into the the rear end of your controller which is for your audio top back so there we go so let's have a look at the different features of the actual control unit now all right let's take a look at the control unit so there's quite a lot of different buttons on this thing so bear with me while we go through them all so we'll start from the top which is the game volume control and uh, as you can see that we've got these leds to show you what the volume's at. If we just turn this, you can see that they, they actually go down, as you can see, right down to the bottom and back again. And if you press this button, it actually mutes your audio, which is good. Another thing you can do is when it's muted, is if you just turn the volume control, it unmutes it for you. So there we are. That's quite a nice little feature. I like that. Now, all these buttons that are around here are actually push buttons. They are just uh, touch sensitive. So when you tap them, you see these different things happening. Yeah, there's not actually a click on those particular buttons. All right, so you've also got um, right here a speaker output jack, which is mainly for PC use, but that's right there. Then we've got the speaker angles button, which is right here. So you tap that for changing different angles of the button, uh, which is all to do with the Dolby surround sound and stereo, things like that. Surround sound switch, which is this one right here, which basically switches that on and off. You just tap it. You can see red means off white is on 5.1 speaker selection so you can tap that and uh, you use the wheel button to change the different options so if you see how uh, when i press that it changes all the different options and if you ever had music playing the headset on you'd notice different audio sounds so you can change that to your liking basically with a 5.1 then of course we've got the power switch on and off right here so that's just very simple power switch then there's a programmable control, which is controls the mic monitor levels, uh, which is just a, it's like a volume control just there, so you can experiment with things like that. Then there's the auxiliary input voice control right here, which uh, selects the level of the AUX input, which is that one there. Then we've got all your chat preset buttons, so that's all these here, so you can have different presets for different games or, or your console and PC if you change it from each one of those. So you've got one to eight different presets there. Then there's the auxiliary input jack, which is right here. So if I show you this, this is what I was talking about earlier. Right there, you've actually got this cable, which is the 3.5 millimeter four pole auxiliary cable. And what you can do with this is you can plug that into the rear end of there, like so, and plug that into your mobile phone. And basically, as you're playing games, you could play music from your mobile phone or even answer calls uh, without having to like pause your game or anything like that. It's, it's pretty handy. So that's what that's there for. That's a nice little feature that I like. It also works with 
you know, iPads and all that sort of thing. Then of course there's the headset jack, which is this one, which was shown you earlier on. And then this one's the talkback jack for the console, so that just plugs in to your Xbox 360 console right at the bottom, right there. And that's uh, for the talkback feature while gaming. Then we've got the main button. So this main button here basically is your default profile, but it also transfers from your default back to the last profile you use. So say you're using profile number five last and you switch to your default and you use default for a while and then decided you wanted to go back to profile number five, you just press main again and it would do that for you. Then over here we've got the chat volume control, which uh, is for the chat specifically, not your master volume. Then there's the mode button right here on the side, which you can see flashing away, which transfers between your headset and the speaker uh, mode. So basically when you've got a, if you've got speakers plugged in over here, you would press this mode button to activate your speakers or your headset. You can see you get a nice little um, LED visual effect there for you. Dolby Digital indicator right there. And as you can see, I've not set it up on the Xbox, so it's not showing as working at the moment. And this button right here is your microphone mute. So if I just tap that, It'll it should start flashing white, there we go. So it's indicating as white, and that means my microphone will be working now. If I tap it again, it should go red. So there we are. And that's basically the overview of this. There's quite a lot to it, but it's uh, you know an all round awesome little device. So here is an audio test for the XP7 Turtle Beach headset. And this is what the microphone sounds like. So one, two, three, testing, testing. Hopefully that sounds pretty damn clear. So I've been using these for about a week and I've been very impressed by them. They're, they're very well made, as you can see in the video, and they're very well accommodating when it comes to using them with different products. Uh, all the different types of cable weaving are very handy. So I'm going to give these a Hardware Heaven Diamond rating. Uh, money is no object when it comes to these. They are top quality. I hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time.